Hello everyone, Marty Snyder here with a NASCAR news update. We've all watched as NASCAR's advanced technology in recent years, starting with a seamless transition to American ethanol in 2011, followed by a switch to electronic fuel injection in 2012, and recently unveiling new cars set to debut on the track in 2013. Well, today NASCAR announced what may be their most ambitious and game-changing new project. This one in partnership with none other than Google. Yes, Google, the company best known for web search, YouTube, and lava lamps, has actually been working very seriously for several years now on autonomous vehicles, by which I mean a vehicle which can sense its own environment and navigate on its own without human intervention, by which I really mean a car that can drive itself. Now, don't laugh. These cars really work. Now they've logged over 200,000 safe miles on roads all over California. And now Google and NASCAR have announced a partnership to bring this technology, believe it or not, to NASCAR stock car racing. And yes, that's co-founder Sergey Brin sporting the minimalist white fire suit. All right, let's do this thing. The Google team claims they'll clear the NASCAR inspection process and have an autonomous race car, believe it or not, entered in competition by the middle of next season. Big question is, can they be successful? Well, we've asked a few members of NASCAR Nation what the new era of self-driving race cars might mean for the future of the sport. You mean it drives itself? It does drive itself. It doesn't need me? It'll give me a chance to do other things that are really important to me while I'm in the car. And, uh, you know, the driving part was just, you know, it was just too much. I mean, I, I needed a break every once in a while. so. You know, I, I'm really excited about Google's new technology. I think it's going to be uh, great for the sport and really help me and my team personally. The driver's the quarterback. This car cannot go without us. The driver is everything. It would really help me. Drivers are a huge source of errors. I've been out here for 20 years, and I need a break, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I could use a nice little vacation, so... Uh, um, Anything that gets that car around that racetrack fast still gets it to victory lane, that I get a chance to take a break, spend some more time with the kids and the family. Yes. Thank God for technology. NASCAR fans, never known for their shy natures, did, of course, have their own take on what the perspective changes might mean to their beloved sport. I wouldn't like it. Self-driven cars? Self-driven self cars. So the driver would sit in the seat, and they, they might not have to do anything. Oh, yeah, no. If I want to run remote control cars, I'll do that at home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you want to see driver? You want to see? No way, yeah. Jose. Uh, that ain't going to work. Somebody self with a car. Self I want to be the passenger, but I'd love to see that. So, what do you think? Post your comments on NASCAR's Google Plus page and stay tuned right here to NASCAR.com for much more on the story.